Hello, uh, welcome to this tutorial on capacitors networks. So, uh, first question um, states which of the arrangement uh, were three capacitors either in series or in parallel that would give you the largest capacitance, right? So, remember this: the total capacitance is the opposite to the formula such as the total resistance. So in resistors, when they are in series, you add. But however, um, this uh, in parallel is when they add. So, so the series arrangement for capacitance is actually 1 over CT equal to 1 over C1 plus over 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. Whereas in parallel is the opposite of uh, parallel resistance, so it's just simply total resistance is adding each of the parallel capacitance. So the argument is which one is it that's going to give you the largest capacitance? Well, now I, let's assume in as as indicated in the questions they are all identi uh, identical capacitors so therefore they would have the same capacitance right so we can start with solving the series by doing so so 1 over ct is equal to 1 over c plus 1 over c plus 1 over c so um, since they are all uh, the same denominators so 1 over CT is equal to 1 uh, uh, sorry 3 1 plus 1 plus 1 over C and get rid of the 1 over so it goes to the other side so CT is equal to 1 over this which means remember 1 divide by something is a is the same as reciprocal so uh, putting it simply is to flip the fractions upside down. So therefore, the total capacitance is C over 3. Okay. So in this one here, um, let's use a different color. So total resistance for a parallel arrangement is therefore C plus C plus C. So therefore, CT is equal to 3 lots of C. Now, let's assume that C is, say, let's say it's 10 farad. So therefore, if you do 3 times 10, 30, and 10 over 3, that's not even be anywhere near 10. So therefore, um, the parallel arrangement is going to give you a larger resistance okay so times by 3 is always going to be more than uh, a value divided by 3 okay so uh, so the answer is series C sorry the answer is parallel because it's been proven here it has a factor of 3 okay next question number 2 so two capacitors with values um, uh, uh, with those two values are connected in series so I'm going to just quickly put that in so that's 35 micro and that's 76 microfarad what, what is the total capacitance of this arrangement? well it's series so therefore it's going to be the 1 over so it's 1 over um, C1, let's call this C1, and this is C2. Now, why do I not substitute the numbers in straight away? That's because I want you to get used to arranging all this into CT. Now, if you recall, total resistance in a parallel arrangement, because it's the similar form, is R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. Now, in this case, the total resistance is going to be the same format. 
Okay, so I just want you to get used to. Oh, uh, sorry, just one moment. I want you to get used to writing this version. Okay, now, like you, like me, if you're like me, that um, you don't learn formulas um, and you like to derive it, then I will show you how this is carried out right now. So it's really just simple fractions. So uh, denominators, assuming they're not the same, so what you have to do then is you have to times this top and bottom by C2. And then for this one, you want to times top and bottom by C1. So 1 over CT, now they are the same, so you can add the top capacitance together over C1 plus uh, S times C2. Because it's 1 over, so to find CT, I need to get rid of that. to the uh, and, and so CT is equal to 1 over this whole thing, which is to reciprocal this. So it's upside down. Just flip the uh, numerator and the denominators. So there you are. Okay. So that's why you know, if I would, I would probably skip that st step in the exam. I just go and write capacitance, uh, total capacitance is equal to C1, C2 over C1 plus C2. So now I can substitute that in there. So it's 35 microfarad, which is um, that's going to be 10 to the power of minus 6. And then ta uh, uh, times... Um, 76 times 10 to the power of minus 6 all over 35 times 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 76 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Now in A level physics or you know if if you are doing this quite a lot since you know all the capacitance, capacitance are all micro you could simply ignore those values so uh, so don't bother writing those out it, it just makes it a little bit more tidier okay so I've just rub out uh, important figure as well so I could just simply write 35 times 76 over 35 plus 76 so okay and then the answer will be in microfarad then Okay, so if I put that in the calculator, so remember it's times at the top because the reciprocal has uh, flipped the fractions upside down. So 35 at 76. Just double check that you have the numbers the same there. Uh, sometimes people do uh, accidentally type a, a wrong digit. Okay, and so that comes to 20. 3.96 microfarad. There we are.